Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Welcome to FA 110 lecture series. And this video, the lecture series for number four, it covers the topic of accounting cycles and accounting equations. So accounting cycles, uh, our work uh, in accounting is never ending. So it starts from source of documents whereby we identify and analyze this source of documents as our evidence to record the accounts, uh, such as the source document, invoices, the bills, um, the cash bills or payment vouchers, receipts and so on. We will cover the topic of our source documents once we uh, go to journal topic. So after you identify the source of documents, you will identify which transactions belongs to which category. So you will know where the record should be, where should you record to journals. So after you analyze source of documents, you will record the, into the journals. So there are numbers of journals, uh, different types of transactions, uh, different transactions, uh, sometimes you need to um, record in different journals. We we'll cover the topic later in the next videos. So after you record in journals, you need to post the items from journals to ledgers or we call as accounts or account T. So from the ledgers, we will, um, the ledgers actually, is being prepared to um, making sure that the record in journals uh, uh, accurate because ledgers will show you the balances uh, and the after you uh, balancing the accounts means that every year or every at the end of the month you close the accounts so you will not uh, you will find the balances of the uh, uh, each accounts or in the ledgers and you will transfer the balances into the try balance the trial balance is actually to try out whether your record is accurate or not so if your trial balance not balanced definitely you, there's something wrong with your records uh, once we prepared the trial balance then we need to find if any other adjustment that need to be done for particular um, accounts the adjustment could be an accounting errors uh, it could be depreciation um, expenses for the year or accruals and prepayment uh, that you identified after you prepare the trial balance. So once you adjust the transactions, you make the adjustment to the accounts, then you need to prepare again the trial balance. Now, this one is called adjusted trial balance, taking account all the adjustments. And from the adjusted trial balance, we will prepare the financial statements that is statement of profit or loss and statement of financial positions these are the two prominent uh, uh, financial statements that you need to prepare for the business it goes to the basic elements in accounting basically there are two elements in the organizations or the business that is what it owns and what it owes what it owns means that the economic resources that we have in order for us to generate the revenue uh, normally we call them as assets in malay also we call asset so what we own so anything that we own then can, we can uh, uh, evidence it as what it owns, uh, what we own, so we call them assets. So example of asset is the cash, 
your money in the pocket or your money in the account bank. Um, the inventory, a car is a bill, so the car is a bill is actually uh, the collective amount of customers that uh, land and buildings, uh, motor vehicles, furniture, equipment. So those are the assets for the organizations. That what the organization owned. And what it owes means that uh, in order for us to get the asset, we must owe somebody. Yeah? Uh, the business owes somebody, whether uh, you get from the owner. So the main source normally for businesses are equity. So it means that uh, funding that provided by the owners. So example of equity is uh, the capital uh, for sole trader or business we call it as capital. So partnership funds, uh, sometimes we call it capital, sometimes we call it contributions, partnership contributions, and shareholders we call it shares, um, uh, shares equity for company and also um, um, uh, for cooperatives. Eh? And other sources of financing is debt, something that we owe to other people. Okay. Just now we said on the equity, we the business owes to owners. Uh, and this one, business, uh, the debt means that we owe the business owes to other people, uh, not the owner. If we owe the owner, we call it as equity. So other forces of financing, for example, we purchase goods on credit. Um, uh, so it means that we promise to pay later. So actually we are on debt or from loan borrowings we go to the bank and ask for loans and the bank agrees to give us money but on loan so those we owe somebody else so this financing of, uh, from the debt we called liabilities and examples of liabilities is account payable means that we owe to uh, suppliers loan usually it goes to the bank or financial institutions and mortgage mortgage is a bit different but still a loan uh, from the um the bank or financial institutions okay next subtopic is accounting equations this is very important because every transaction there are effects to accounting equations so basically you need to understand how the equation works so again just now we Mm, say that what it owns must be equal so what the uh, it owes apa yang kita ada dari mana benda tu datang so actually assets what we owns must be equals to liabilities what we owe to other people and equity what we owes to the owner And this uh, asset equals to liability at owner's equity is actually will be shown in the statement of financial positions. So components in financial statements, we have statement of financial positions. We show the asset, asset must be equal to liability at owner's equity. And statement of profit or loss, we identify whether the company is making profit or loss statement of changes in equity is this is um, related to companies financial statements so you need to, to uh, justify how the changes of equity for the year uh, statement of cash flows to show uh, uh, in details how the cash inflows and outflows and also notes to the accounts also whenever they are needed uh, um, extra explanations on certain items in those statements so we put in notes to the accounts the okay, statement of financial position just now i said is actually showing the final positions financial position for the business 
and again must be asset equals to uh, liability at owner equity and statement of profit or loss is basically we uh, deducting the revenues to the expenses so total revenues deduct total expenses that you show whether you're making profit or loss uh, for the specific period how well the business is and again the measurements is whether making profit or loss and classifications is actually we need to identify each account as an asset category or liability or owner's equity so remember asset is something that we own something that business own and we expect to have benefits from the asset for the future and liabilities is what we owe to other asset what we owe to other people uh, and these other people has claims to our assets and owner's equity is what we owe to the owners and owner need to claim the asset if their assets uh, as a uh, uh, sub um, deducting with the liabilities and the owner's equity is also the profit including profit uh, made by the company so asset whenever you say assets means that the what business own uh, so you need to uh, show the evidence whether that particular item is owned by the business sometimes the building is not owned by the business so you cannot show cannot show that building into the asset because you do not own that building okay so if you don't own the building it's not an asset definitely not an asset if you own that it can be an asset so asset there are two types of asset one we call non-current assets whereby we say when we say non-current asset we uh, again the assets what we owned and we expect that is uh, benefits for the business and the benefits if we call for non-current asset the benefits should be more than one year to the business for example the building the useful life for the building is definitely more than one year and of of course the benefits that can be derived from the building we can run the office there more than one year of course it will be the non-current asset another category for asset is not uh, current assets so the current asset the definitions is cash or assets that can be converted into cash within a year so whenever we have this item we in mind say that this particular item can be turned into cash within that 12 months period for example the account receivables the customers debt so when we give a credit to customers okay we allow the customer to pay later uh, I don't think that you could give customers months and months of delaying the payments. Of course, you will give them 30 days or maybe in 60 days. So the, the most usually we will give 90 days. I don't think you uh, afford to give the customers more than that to delay the payment otherwise you the one will be become bankrupt so account receivable should be the debt of the customer should be turned into cash within one year so that's why account receivables is categorized as classified as current asset the same goes with cash in bank definitely you go to the bank uh, then you can turn the account taking out the account uh, taking out the cash from the bank account uh, inventory is another one stocks that you have in the store or stocks that you display in your shop 
of course you need to turn that particular inventory into cash within one year if you cannot turn the inventory into cash then other thing you should be doing business uh, better just close your business and do something else i don't think uh, you are capable in managing your own business because inventory stock that you have uh, you you need to sell them off and turn them into cash definitely less than one year and also with the cash in hand accrued revenues accrued revenues means that the revenue that has not been paid yet it has occurred but not been paid for example uh, you rented out uh, a part of your shop and the tenants will pay you rentals and probably tenants delay the payment until the end of the year so it categorized as uh, it's called accrued uh, revenues and classify as current asset prepaid expenses where you overpaid to the third party uh, for example you overpaid to um, uh, uh, Tenaga National Berhad, you overpaid them. So, so the, you call prepaid expenses, the money is still yours. So that's why you do call as current asset. Non-current asset has four sub-topics or sub-category. Uh, uh, first, we call tangible non-current asset. So tangible have uh, physical substance, something that you can touch uh, or, or observe. For example, land, building, or vehicles, furniture, features and fittings, or customs um, items that you customize it for your business. Another uh, uh, subtitle for no current asset is intangible assets, where this category do not have physical substance for example the brand uh, when we say mcdonald's of course in your mind in your brain we will see the burger and also when we say kfc definitely you see the fried chicken and you feel hungry right so the brands is actually can attract customers to come and buy from them they have benefits and these benefits is can be uh, extended more than one year that's why intangible asset becomes a non-current asset the same goes to copyrights logo intellectual property patent franchise license trademark and there are so many things um royalties uh, the um, payments um, uh, royalties rights eh? not not royalty payment Ro royalty rights so th those are the intangible asset okay investment so uh, the business invest some money in order to get some return in the future uh, for example they put the money in the fixed deposits or bonds or any long-term investment so if the future benefits is more than one year so it becomes non-current asset but if they invest in two or three months or less than one year so it becomes the current asset but normally the fixed deposit we uh, invest is more than one year the next subtitles is biological assets um, this one's um, um, it recently is very popular topic, uh, and you will cover this topic in I'm not so sure part two seventy probably or part two ten. I'm not so sure, but I think it's part two seventy. So you will um, has um, specific topic on how to um, record the biological assets. So the biological uh, non-current asset uh, uh, are the living animals and plants whereby this animal and plants can grow progress and sometimes multiply 
so this goods durian tree beehives it becomes the non-current asset for the business entity and the liabilities we have discussed the asset now goes to the liabilities the liabilities has also two categories the one is we call non-current liabilities remember liabilities is something we owe to other people when we owe to other people we need to pay there are due dates for something that you owe for other people uh, then <clears throat> Non-current liabilities is our obligations, the business obligations that are expected to fully pay in more than one year. Uh, for example, we um, um, secure the bank loan you know, from the bank and the bank loan normally will take you uh, three or five or ten years to pay back the loan fully not the installment but fully paid the debt uh, uh, how long how um, how how long the durations eh, you take to fully pay that obligations so it's, if it more than one year so it will be uh, classified as non-current liabilities and another of liability is current assets so current as current assets sorry current liabilities the, these obligations are expected to be repaid fully within one year the examples is account payables I mean, uh, the debt to suppliers or creditors so this uh, debt must be settled fully settled within one year normally supplies will give you only one month to pay or to settle your accounts so you cannot owe that supply more than one month okay then accrued expenses is another example where you owe to for example your internet provider you haven't paid them yet and are you owe to um, water companies um sharikat i you cannot um uh, owe to that sharikat i more than three months or also because they will come and cut off your water supply and <clears throat> the bank overdraft um, bank overdraft is you overdrawn the money from your bank account uh, it's only uh, faci uh, the facility is given to only the current um, uh, current account holders mm, and normally they will give you only one month to settle of uh, the overdrawn uh, money and the bank will not allow you more than one month uh, uh if you do not pay then the facility of overdraft will be uh, withdrawn and you cannot withdraw any more money from your bank account um short term loan where you owe uh, other people in short term less than 12 months and prepaid revenues uh, when people overpaid you so you need to pay back uh, that uh, the part and owner's equity, our another classifications. So owner's equity is actually a capital, something that we owe to owner. So whenever owner gives asset to businesses, so we will recognize as capital. Capital is actually an, another way of saying that, okay, that is what we owe to the owner. But yeah, but that's one for sole proprietor sole trader but for um uh, partners we say the partners contributions and for companies we uh, say for the shares equity and the capital will add with net profit and net profit usually you given to the owner uh, as the income to the owner 
Uh, so net profit is actually derived from total revenue deducted with total expenses. And in another on this equity is uh, drawings. So drawings is whenever business took asset for personal use. Remember business entity, business entity or economic entity concept whenever owner to something from business we should recognize a drawings that has been uh, occurred and the drawing must be deducted uh, uh, from the owner's equity because total owner's equity is what the owner can claim to the business so revenues or some of the book called income so revenues is actually the, increasing the economic benefits where it comes from from the business activities that we run and the revenues are income generated by the business through that activities whether we are trading or normal operating activities and the categories of revenues are sales of goods the physical ones or rendering the services to the customers or allowing others to use our business assets okay sales of goods um is a sales transactions on delivering the goods to the customers the rendering of services is the fees or uh, that we charge to the customers let's say for legal firm we uh, charge for lawyers fees or tuition fees is is services that we give to the customers or in terms of income for commissions or insurance agents um, allowances and the third, cat, uh, third category of revenue is using uh, business asset by others uh, for example interest income where we use uh, uh, we put the money in the banks and the bank will give us some interest so that is our income or revenue to the business uh, royalties whenever other people use our patents or trademark or copyrights dividend income where we share in other companies such as in shares rent receive where we rent out a certain space of our assets and commission received uh, we allow people to use uh, uh, our business premises to put their uh, goods uh, to be sold or uh, we as an agent to sell off uh, the products expenses are the cost incurred when we um, try to uh, want to generate revenue so in order for us to generate revenue sometimes we need to incur the cost uh, first, uh, types of expenses such as uh, types of expenses is cost of sales, selling distributions, administrative and finance costs. For FAR 110, we only recognize the cost of sales and the three there, we do not um, separate them. However, in the next uh, FAR course, that is FAR 160, you need to identify which selling and distribution costs, which expenses that belong to administrative and which uh, uh, expenses is for finance costs. So better you familiarize those uh, terms before you go to um, the next file, 160. Cost of sales is um, relating to the purchase of inventory. So when you purchase inventory, of course, you have the cost of the product itself. And then you have the freight charges. Uh, uh, and then probably you need to pay some insurance to cover the product um, or tax. Definitely, you need to pay uh, in Malaysia, we call it as uh, sales and service tax. Import you import the items or the import the inventory from uh, foreign countries. So, so at the port or at the airport, you need to pay the import duty to custom department before you will get 
your inventory. Uh, transport costs, uh, carriage inwards, where you have to pay uh, the cost of transport transportations to bring the goods from suppliers to your business premise. Selling and distributions are regarding the activities of sales and distribute the goods and services. For example, the salesman salaries or the sales um, personnel commissions, delivery charges uh, when we transport the goods to the customers that we call carriage outwards, and depreciations of delivery vehicles. So those are the examples of the selling and distributions uh, category of expenses. Administrative is uh, relating to costs that we need to incur for admins, administrating our business activities. For example, salaries of your managers uh, or salaries of the accountants, no, those are administrative. Uh, electricity and water, rental, stationaries, uh, depreciations of, of fiscal that use by administrator. Finance costs are regarding the cost or the expenses that we incurred in order to raise money. For example, interest on loan. We have the money from the bank, but we need to service the loan. We need to pay to the bank as interest or the bank service charges. So those are the finance costs. Back to the accounting equations. So basically, we have assets equals to liabilities at owner's equity. So I just put A equals to L at OE. OE is owner's equity. So the asset, um, uh, asset is non-current asset and current asset. Liability has non-current liability and current liability, but still liability. And the owner's equity is actually, as we discussed just now, is capital at net profit deduct drawings. That is owner's equity. So you can expand it, it to here as A equals to L at a capital, where the capital at uh, revenue deduct expenses. So revenue, total revenue deduct total expenses is the formula to get the net profit and we did that drawings d so in the end the expanded accounting equations is SL, asset equals to liability at the capital at revenue deduct expenses and also deduct drawings so these are uh, uh, expanded accounting equations that applies to sole proprietor or sole trader and we can simplify to memorize the expanded accounting as either clear A D E C L R. Okay, that's it for now. Um, for elections number four, uh, watch out for the next video for um, effects and uh, explaining the effects of transactions to accounting equations and also the dual entry concepts. Ta-da!